Okay, so right here we have the atlas. This side is the anterior side. This is the posterior side. This is the anterior arch, the anterior tubercle, posterior arch, posterior tubercle. Oops, can you see that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Medial tubercles. It doesn't show it well on here, but they would be less, next to the lateral masses around this area right here. Um, this is the transverse process, transverse foramen. Okay, now we have the axis, anterior side, posterior side, bifid spinous process, lamina, pedicle isn't really clear, but it would be this area, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> this is the body, transverse process, oops, don't, maybe this side, transverse process, transverse foramen, odontoid or dens, anterior odontoid facet, posterior odontoid, can you see that clear? Yeah. Facet? Okay, and then cervical. Okay, notice on the cervical spine it's a lot smaller than everything else. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is the transverse for Raymond, anterior, posterior, Tubercle transverse process, okay. Bifid spinous process, and this is the unicit, unis, usinate process, right? Mm -hmm. Usinate process, okay. okay. A thoracic, and we have superior coastal facet, inferior coastal facet, transverse coastal facet. And then we have the lumbar, and this is the, okay, this is lumbar, right? Okay, this is the mammillary process, and right here is the accessory process, and the pars interarticularis is this area right here. Okay. Okay. So we have the vertebral foramen, and then attach this to another vertebrae. You have the intervertebral foramen, vertebrae of the body of vertebrae, <laughs> pedicle. This area right here is the pedicle. Um, inferior vertebral. Oh, so this area is the inferior vertebral notch, superior vertebral notch, transverse process, okay, the superior articular facet, superior articular process, inferior articular process, inferior articular facet. <laughs> Uh, the lamina right here and then the spinous process Okay, so and now we have the sacrum This is the posterior side anterior side the auricular surface Lumbosacral articular surface Superior Arti superior articular process mm -hmm. <laughs> and superior articular facet. Correct. <laughs> Stop. Okay. So this is the dorsal sacral foramen, anterior sacral foramen. Okay. Lateral lateral sacral crest. Intermediate sacral crest and then median sacral crest. Sacral canal, these are the sacral canals. Hex of sacrum, and then right in here is the sacral cornua. Mm -hmm. 
And now we have the coccyx, which is, which is attached base of coccyx, transverse process of coccyx, tip of coccyx. Okay. And then we have the clavicle, right, left, <laughs> articulate, uh, articular facet for sternum, articular facet for acromion, conoid tubercle, trapeze, trapezoid line, okay, so, sorry, trapezoid line, right here, from the conoid tubercle to the acromion end, and the subclavius groove, which is on the posterior inferior. inferior side of the clavicle. So this is superior, inferior side. Okay. And then now we have the scapula. Okay, so this is the spine of scapula, root of spine, acromion process, coracoid process suprascapular notch, glenoid fossa, supraspinous, can you see that? Supraspinous fossa, infraspinous fossa, subscapular fossa, articulate facet for, oh, articulate, articular facet for clavicle, axillary border, vertebral border, superior angle, inferior angle, supraglenoid tubercle, infraglenoid tubercle. Can you hear me okay? Okay, so we're going to do the humerus <laughs> one more time. Okay, so this is the left humerus. Left humerus. Okay. Into, I mean, yeah, into your side. So this is the head of humerus, greater tubercle, lesser tubercle, intertubercular groove, surgical neck, anatomical neck, deltoid tuberosity. It's not that clear right here, but it's on the shaft of the tubercle, and it's right here. <laughs> um, lateral supracondylar ridge. Lateral epicondyle. Um, oh, capitulum. Radial fossa. A medial supracondylar ridge. Medial epicondyle. Colonoid fossa. The trochlea. Groove for ulnar nerve. Olecranon fossa. Okay? And then we have a radius, left radius as well. This is the crap. Okay, there we go. This is the radial head, neck of radius, radial tuberosity. Yeah. Yeah, radial tuberosity, interosseous border. Interosseous border. Interosseous border. It's on the medial side. Oh, right here. God dang it. <laughs> it's kind of making this. Okay. Radial styloid process. <laughs> this little thing protruding right here. Okay. Ulnar notch. Ulnar notch. <laughs> Lister. Okay, Lister's dorsal tubercle. That is this thing right here. Okay. All that. So we have the olecranon process, trochlear notch. Turn it sideways. Okay, trochlear notch, trochlear ridge, coronoid process, uh, ulnar tuberosity. Where is that? Right here. Ulnar tuberosity, yeah. right? Ulnar tuber. Turn it sideways. Okay. Yep. Ulnar tuberosity, radial notch, 
head of honor. Honor styloid, <laughs> blush, blush, honor styloid process into osseous border. Okay, here. This is the scaphoid. Scaphoid lunate triquitrum. You can't see the pisiform here, but. <laughs> Pisiform's on the anterior side of the hand. And this is the trapezium. This is the trapezoid. This is the capitate. This is the hemate, right? Okay. Okay. This is the pisiform. It's connected. Um, what else? Okay. Tubercle of trapezium. Trapezium. Tubercle. <laughs> okay. And then hook of hemate over here. Hook of hemate. Is that right? Mm hmm Okay. Hook of hemate. And then Gunning's Canal. I always get confused where that one is. It's right here, right? Yep. Gunning's Canal. And then Tubercle, a scaphoid. Right here. Tubercle, a scaphoid. And then right here we have the metacarpals. Okay, this is the head, base, body. Phalanges and thumb only has <laughs> proximal and distal. Correct. Okay, and then this is proximal, middle, and distal. Correct. Okay, we're done. We're